Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I am General Ming, and today we are playing games. It is Mega Aquarium. Uh, the fish are breeding like rabbits, as the message says. Uh, I played the game. Let's go ahead and keep it going. Uh, it's another another email, another letter, whatever you want to call them. Flying cave tetras are unlocked. Let's go ahead and get to work on the Congo tetra next. Egg scatterer. Egg scatterers form breeding groups and scatter their eggs simultaneously. Cool, I guess. What was that? Cave tetra? Uh, egg scatter form a spawning group of at least five animals. So I need five of them. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. You have not got the right care requirements. That makes sense. Uh, so I need to do what? One, two of that. We'll solve those problems. I need some cave and some rock. There's some of that. Here's some of that. Solves all the issues temporarily. They are no longer adults. But they have a 30% chance of breeding when they are grown up. Oh, they are adults. Never mind. Do I want more of them? I might as well do at least three more, right? One, two, three. I just need to put in some more rock. We can just do like rock. Oh, one more. Rock. Put you over here. So now you have a still thirty percent chance to breed. Kind of inconvenient, really. But hey, you know what? We'll let them go anyway. That's fine. You guys cannot breed for another day. That's fine. Messages are generated. You can turn them off in the options menu. Yep. Convict Spawn 2 has grown up into two Convict Cichlids. So what you're saying is these things double over time. A lot of baby fish. Look at them all. So many baby fish. Yeah, that's a lot of fish. Lots of fish. Alrighty, Caleb, with a level up. Cool. I need stuff and I need things. It's over here. One ecology poster. Uh, who has good ecology value? Nope, I need this one. Uh, 106 in this one, 295 over here. Sold. I need an ecology poster. One ecology poster connected into where? How do I do this? I thank you. I do so wish I could right click on these to just pick them up and move them. Take the two of you, put them over there. I can grab this, put it over here, and put it right on that. Actually, and I get 100 ecology points. Ecology posters would normally give me prestige as well. They just don't because this is a challenge mode. All right, so that's two fish going. Sorry. So you now have a. Oh, you're looking for a flat surface. Two free flat surfaces, giving a 20% chance to breed. Go ahead and probably add in another one. Maybe even move this and then put in one more. Just to give it a little bit better. Yeah, takes it all up to a 40% chance to breed. That's okay. I can work with that. And these guys are still just waiting for the right chance to breed. 30% chance to breed on any given day. Good enough. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get the next tank going. And we'll do another one just like right next to it. Might have been farther than I needed, but oh well. Uh, let's see, so I did one animal, which was the Congo Tetras. They need six. Six of them, open space of two by two. 
a uh, whole bunch of requirements. They need light to induce spawning. They have to have at least eight of them to do so. They will uh, breed together and the fry need plant matter. And it's an acidic tank. Okay. Give me... Wait, can I do you guys in there with them? I dare say I can. If I have access to a big enough tank. I only have the Balthus tank right now, but I'm about to get this one. But we're going to go ahead and let the game play and get the bridge tank. Also, the, uh, the fry spawned over here, which is excellent. Did I get fry in this one? I have not yet. But, flying kick tetras, we have four uh, fry right now. Theoretically, at least one of them is going to make it to survival, which is probably going to help us with this. But we are on our way to being a quarter of the way done. Cool. Cave Tetris just won't stop breeding, neither will the cichlids. Could be expected, really. Uh, yep. Whatever. Cardinal Tetras are unlocked. Go ahead and just do the other two for the sake of getting them done. Marino Moss Balls are for sale. Deal. I will take them both when I get the chance. This is making progress. It's just kind of going a little on the slow side. Can't do anything saltwater. It's strictly a freshwater scenario. Uh, I don't have any repair kits, do I? Nah, I must have one somewhere. There it is. Let's go ahead and make sure that I grab a second tool station and just toss it in on the other side so that it's available when I need it. The red striped earth eaters have spawned a new set of earth eaters, so that's good. Uh, go ahead and do the next research. You have zero chance of death because the only things in the tank are your parents. Uh, so 70% of the babies will survive. 19 babies remain. Cool. Alright. Tank's done, so let's go ahead and get that in. That is a bridge tank. Uh, make it that big, but I'm going to move it a little bit, because I would rather have it up there. Alright, so then into this tank, we're going to pause the game long enough for me to do... What? I needed... Uh, Cardinal Tetras and Congo Tetras, right? Yes. So I need... Eight of them? No, I need ten... Congo... Or I need ten Cardinals. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then I also need 8 of these guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we hope that I can do what I want to do with lighting. Or light. I can. Solid. Okay. So I need acid in this tank. I need plant matter. I need everything, basically. And frank shrimp. So go ahead and give me this and like that that ought to help and then let's go ahead and just start from wherever so that's that that solves half of the foliage problem and I want to do a little bit over here as well we got to keep some open space in the middle for somebody uh, let's see, I'm gonna need heating and filtering and RO stuff. So, from over to here, we will grab power pump. Plop it in right like so. Plug it in. Give me one, two, three, and four. That solves all of the filtration needs, and then I can actually just do another... One of these. Toss it right here. Plug that one in and give me probably just the two there to solve that problem. Uh, and then I do want to make sure that I have the RO filter on here as well, and we're going to need a couple of them. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and I'll make sure that I put in an RO membrane dispenser right here. We'll just do two of them. That'll solve any problems with that, and then we also need a brine shrimp dispenser over here. 
And that would be for you guys and you guys also. Cool, okay. So we can go ahead and play it now because everything is alive and safe. You guys are just waiting for the right time to breed. You guys need the foliage from the thing. How big of a thing are you? You are that big, that's fine. One, two. I'm gonna be for the Cardinal Tetras. So they have 40% chance to breed on any given day. You guys have a 25% chance of breeding today. That's kinda sucky. Um, Cardinal spawns went ahead and had a whole bunch of babies, so that's good. And one of the blind tetra spawns died of hunger. Blind tetra's over here, right? Why are you not being fed? What do you need to be fed? You eat bloodworms, you eat bloodworms. So we just need more bloodworm? Okay. Bam. Why are you not getting fed? You are getting fed. Why did you not die? Whatever. Uh, they like to be with other species. Creating a tank with many species is a challenge, but that's whatever. I don't need to do that though, because all I have to do is this. I'm really only researching it so that the game stops yelling at me, to be completely honest. Chicago Tetras have bred. Lion Tetras are all dying from predators. Suddenly, I have no Lion Cave Tetras. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and do that thing that I talked about doing previously, which was to just put in a basic tank right next to it. Uh, and connect it via a pump. Close that, pause this, because I need a pump. I need to connect one the other and the next time I get fries I am moving them into the other tank I cannot breed for another three days what was that letter about live cultures uh, because somebody needs live fry live artemidia and yeah okay two point then yes uh, yes cardinal spawns need to be fed and that's an important one Feed. Uh, and let's see, you are size 2, you are size 3, you shouldn't be able to die. Oh, animals with a size of 5 or less per date on ant, uh, eggs and fry, okay. So then what we actually want to do is move you, right? Yeah. What if I did this? Uh, maybe not that. Whatever it is, this. And we put in two of those. We come over to you, we grab. I have no idea if this is actually going to work or not, by the way. So if I grab you guys and just move you into that one. You are the ones that want this. Four and five, and you are not in the right water temperature, but I can solve that by doing this. Ready for this? So if I take you, and I plug you into that one, and then I plug you into this one. Should solve most of those problems, and I can even come over here and grab a large filter and toss you on right there. All problems solved for that, and then we can also just go into here and grab you. You guys don't take any space. That's all fine and dandy, and then we just need to have a little bit of plant material in there for you. Should keep you guys all alive, right? Yeah, you have no chance of death. Um, so. You literally just have to survive. Whatever. Easy enough. That's unlocked. So go ahead and start the sneakers. A um, whole bunch of things are dying, but that's okay. We need green pellets, which actually means... Wait, no, I don't have to worry about this because it's just your parents. Right. 
Just need to make sure that I have green pellets before you starve to death. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a second culture in here as well so that both of those get fed properly. Start that. You don't have any fry in you because you can't do diddly squat for another day or so, right? Two days, yes. Really disappointing and I'm kind of upset that I didn't notice that was gonna happen. Alright, level up. Count of cichlids, breeding, 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 so many breeding. How do you still have space in this tank for more? There's so many convicts. Like Australia back when it was still a colony of Great Britain. Or from England. I don't remember exactly when the when the switch was, but I don't know. History jokes exist. So you are what? 71% chance of surviving. There are two of you left. One of you has survived. Cool. Two of them are done now. I'm gonna go ahead and just sell both of the ba er, one of the babies? Eh, both of the babies. Yeah, see, because you aren't even full grown, so bye bye. Uh, and the cardinal tetras are somewhere, and they have grown up to be little baby cardinal tetras. Look at them, they're all adorable. Um, and we can just toss them all back into the right tank. Cool. There's that. And the Congo tetras have also grown up. But I need at least one more Congo Tetra. Which will happen. That'll solve that problem, and then we're literally just waiting on these idiots to actually do the thing. I wish there were an ultra speed. That would be really nice. They do 1% chance of you surviving, there's literally only one left. But if you survive that tomorrow, we're done. So coin flip on whether or not this actually works. Well, we're done with that level anyway. Hey look, you survived. Toss you to the other one. And I no longer care if anything happens to that tank. So I literally just need to watch this one now. Sneakers are done, we're out of things to research. Stuff is dying and it doesn't matter. Alrighty. So, now. We just kind of complain a little bit, because it's already up, game. I don't really want to just, like, sit here and wait, but there's also nothing left for me to do. This is the last objective, and then the game ends. For this level. So, yeah. 30% chance to breed. I can't do anything to increase the odds of that. I guess I could make a second tank full of them if I really wanted to. See, I guess something that is probably worth me talking about is the fact that I'm pretty sure I have decided that I'm not going to keep doing Littlewood right now. Uh, I'm not done with the game, don't worry, I'm going to come back to it. But I I just feel like the content in Littlewood is a bit too... Well, it's a bit too much of this, just kind of watching me sit and do nothing. Um, or like sit and do the same exact thing over and over again. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, after I have moved and everything is settled down a little bit, I'm going to keep playing the game. But I'm actually going to try and, and master some more editing techniques and actually do things like time lapse it and, you know, cuts and whatnot so that I can actually um, just show you guys the, bit that, the bits that are actually important and not waste all of the time of me just running in circles checking on things and all that jazz. Uh, so, no little wood for a bit. 
It's not done, it's just on hiatus. The last episode should be uh, the 11th, which I think, if I'm understanding my own schedule correctly, was yesterday, uh, relative to when this episode goes live. I guess actually while I'm just here watching and waiting for the fish to have little baby fish, I can check that. So, let me open up the right folder here. Looks like no, actually, it was two days ago. I didn't realize I had recorded so many episodes already. But the point is that that means it'll get it, it'll be done, um, it'll be done eventually. It's gonna take a little bit. Can I go touch for having babies again? I don't care though. I guess realistically what I should probably do is like actually do that second tank approach and just try to get these to keep having babies. We might as well, right? And just do... Uh, what is that? That is 3x5, so make that 3x6 and that gives me the space to do another lagoon tank. Perfect. And then I need what? I need one Rocky Overhang, two Rocky Overhang. We are in fact just going to have those identical pretty much between the two. Uh, and then I need a whole bunch of small rocks. And then we can do what? We can make this bigger. Make that bigger. And then I'll cover the two uh, the two filters that I need. One power combined over here, one power combined over there. And then we can flood it with some blind cave tetras. One, two, three, four, five. We'll pump it up to eight just in case that helps. Okay, well, apparently they have all decided to have babies all at the same time. I wonder if that's a global trigger, because that seems like that was way too quick. They should not have had babies that fast. We can actually do one rocky overhang. Perfect. And now we literally don't do anything, we just kind of wait and watch. That's a, uh, well, it's a lot of baby eggs and 70% chance for them to survive. So we should be okay in just a couple of in-game days. I'm going to go ahead and let this particular episode run over on time as well, even though we are already two minutes over, uh, because I would rather start the next episode fresh into the next, uh, next level of the campaign. Stuff's dying, doesn't matter. All we care about is getting these uh, baby eggs to be... Uh, hatched into fry, and then I think that's it, even. That's happening. I'm gonna check my phone real quick because I keep seeing pop ups and notifications and stuff that might be important. Alrighty, so Congo spawns are being eaten to death all the time. Kinda happens. Just the way it goes. So we are at one day, now they're all fry. Or they're spawn rather. Which means another three days, they will grow up into fully grown tetras. And that's going to be a lot of tetras all in the same tank, so it's going to go over the limit, and I'm curious to see what happens when it does. Although you guys actually are a day off, I don't know why. But that's okay, that just means in three days time, I'll have some number of tetras in there. It's only a, t a tank capacity of 8, so it's not like it can really hold that much. Each one of those tetras is 2 or 3.
get all the notifications in the world, as per usual. Convict spawns are dying. Hatching, uh, spawn hatching into fry. I'm definitely glad that he added, or they added, the developing team added the uh, option to disable those notifications, because that would get really annoying really fast. Or actually, for that matter, has gotten really annoying really fast. But we only have another day to wait. We're on fast forward, we are kicking by as quickly as we can. Nothing to be done about it other than to wait. But yeah, life is good. Thankfully the game plays pretty quickly when you're on the top seed. You just gotta wait till 1700 every day. Which is 5 o'clock for those who don't translate into military time. Uh, you have not grown up because why? Ready to grow, but there's not enough space in the tank. Right. Two of you grew. So if I do this and that... Now, theoretically, somebody else should grow up in the morning. Because you guys are, what, size three each? Size four each, so I can only do two at a time. That makes sense. There we go. And that's the end of the campaign level. So, the breeding project in Pascoba has gone above and beyond the expectations. We are ready for a more conventional challenge in Pakara. Baraki. Baraki. Uh, we could continue in Pascoba if we wanted, but we don't really care, so we are taking the job at Baraki. That is level 3 here in the campaign. But until the next episode, when we do that, thank y'all for watching me. Catch you in the next one. Adios.